It's time for class. Everyone on your back in Shavasan. Legs apart comfortably. Arms apart. And those who are already in Shavasan, please bring the awareness to the breath. Long inhalation, abdomen expands. Deep exhalation, abdomen contracts. Watch the body from toes to the head. Relax each part of the body. The legs, the back, the arms, the shoulders. The neck, the head, the face, the abdomen and the chest. Take two more mindful breaths. <coughs> Slowly bring your legs together, interlock your hands, stretch your arms over the head and give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn to one side and place it up for the breath. Gajananam Bhutaganadi Sevitam Kapita Jambo Palisari Bakshikam Umasutam Shokavinasha Karanam Namami Vigneshwara Pati Pankajam Shirananam Kumkumarakta Varnam Mahamatim Devima Yura Vahanam Rudra Sisunam Surasenya Natam Uham Sadaham Sharanam Prabhate Yakundain Dutushara Harita Bara Ya Shubra Vastra Vrita, Ya Veena Vardhandi Mandithi Kara, Ya Shweta Padmasana, Ya Brahma Jyoti Shankara Pravriti Vir, Devai Sada Poojita, Samam Padu Saraswati Bhagwati, Nishesh Jarya Paha, Om Nama Shivaya Guru Ve, Satchitananda Murtaye, Nishprapanjaya Shantaya, Shri Shivananda Ate Namaha, Shri Vishnu Devananda Ate Namaha Om Sarva Mangala Mangale Shri Sarvartha Sadike Charanye Prembake Gauri Narayani Namostute Narayani Namostute Om Shanti 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 Om Namishwaya, let's get ready for the class. Beginning with Kapalabhati practice. Taking two breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. The first round of Kapalabhati. <clears throat> Hands in chin mudra back straight. Inhale deeply. And begin. One, 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 
For the first breath retention, inhale three quarters of your lungs, hold the breath very gently. Focus at the third eye center or the heart center. Keep the body relaxed. With control, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one more round. Inhale deeply and begin. One, two, 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 one, Breath, comfortable breath, hold the breath gently. With control, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now open your eyes, interlock your fingers, stretch your arms over the head. As you exhale, bend down to the right side. Inhale, center. Exhale, bend to the left. Inhale, center. One more time. Exhale to the right. Now release the right hand down to the mat and stretch the right, the left side. Very good. Keep the left elbow straight, everyone, and the right elbow bent. 
body lowering down towards the mat, towards the floor as much as possible without lifting the left side, left budget and the knee. Inhale, come back up. Interlock your hands up, stretch up. Exhale, bend down to the left side. Release the left hand down and stretch the right side. Right palm turn down, elbow straight, right elbow. Feel a good stretch in the right side, the waist region, right up to the fingertips. Inhale, come up. Interlock your hands, stretch up once more, stretch up. Release the hands, exhale, come down. Now place the right hand on the, place the left hand on the right knee and the right hand behind. Twist your body to the right. Look to the right. And change the side. Twist your body to the left. Back to the center. Now if you need to stretch your legs forward, please do that. Shake out all the tension from the knees, thighs and the buttocks. And maybe you can rotate the feet a few times, clockwise, then anti-clockwise, move the toes up and down. Once you're ready, get into the sitting position, Sukhasan or the Padmasan, Padmasan, whichever way you find. Place the right hand in Vishnu Mudra, left hand in Chin Mudra, both the hands on the knees, elbows close to the chest. Inhale, take two breaths. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Block the right nostril with your right thumb. Through the left inhale, on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, close the nostrils. Right exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right, of one, of two, of three, of four. Retain the breath, loose the nostrils. Left exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four, retain gently. Keep the back straight, shoulders roll back. Right exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, right of one, of two, of three, four, hold. Awareness, third eye center or the heart center. Left exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, retain. Right exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, of one, of two, of three, of four. Hold the breath gently. No struggle. Keep the body relaxed in the back street. Left exhale, of one, of two, of three, of four, of five, of six, of seven, of eight. Inhale, left of one, of two, of three, of four, retain.
to the right, exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right, on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Relax the body, relax the mind. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four, eight, eight. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, hold. Everybody, take a while. Watch the way you're sitting. If the shoulders are drooping down, straighten up. Roll the shoulders back and down. Keep the chest open. And the palm that's on the knee should be turned up. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, three, on four, hold. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, right on one, on two, on three, on four, gently hold. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale, left on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath last round. Right exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Inhale on one, on two, on three, on four. Hold the breath, last retention. Left exhale on one, on two, on three, on four, on five, on six, on seven, on eight. Bring the hand down. Stay here, relax the body. Breathe. And please slowly stretch your legs and lie down. Take rest in Shavasan, arms apart and the legs apart. Relax with the breath. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your fingers, arms over the head, stretch your whole body, release the stretch. Now bring the hands under the head, 
and bend the knees to the chest. Inhale, as you exhale, lower the knees right, turn the head left. Shoulders and the elbows down on the mat, knees together, feet together. Inhale, come back to the center. Exhale, lower the knees to the left, turn the head to the right. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, knees right and head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left and head right. Inhale, center. One more time. Exhale, knees right, head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left, head right. Inhale, center. Now place the feet down. Keep the hands in the same position. Feet together, knees together. Inhale. As you exhale, lower the knees right. Turn the head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left and head right. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees right, head left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees left and head right. Inhale, come back up. One more time. Exhale, knees to the right, head to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, knees to the left and head to the right. Inhale, center. Now release the hands from under the head and hug the knees to the chest. Hold the back of the thighs. And rock the body three to four times forward and backwards. The warming up the spinal column. Generating some heat will make the Surya Namaskar easier. So, Deshna, can you just take the mat a little away? Yeah. Get ready. Come to the front of the mat. Bring your feet together. Inhale. First round of Surya Namaskar. Feet together. Exhale. Get the hands to the chest. Come stretching the heart center. Inhale. Stretch the arms up along the ears. Push the hips forward and look up to the hands. Exhale. Lengthen the body forward and reach down. Place the hands by the side of the feet. Inhale. Stretch the right leg back. Right knee down. Toes pointing back. Look up. Hold the breath. Left leg back, body in a straight line. Exhaling, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, slide forward into the cobra, arch back. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks inverted V. Heels down, hands pushing the mat forward, push the chest down. Inhale, move the right leg forward. Left knee down and look up. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, join the palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward, left foot between the hands, look up. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch forward, stretch up and arch back, look up to the hands. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, reach forward and reach down. Inhale, the right leg back, look up. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, in budget V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release.
left side. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms to arch back. Exhale, stretch the body forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back. Let's stay here. Push the left leg just a little more away. Align the right knee at the ankle and stretch your chin up. Breathe. Now tuck the left toes in. Take the right leg back into the plank pose. Align the wrist and the shoulders. Back straight like a tabletop. Abdomen pulled in towards the back. And the heels pushing down. As you exhale, lower the knees, chest and the forehead down. Weight of the body falling equally on the eight parts which are touching down. Inhale, slide forward, arch back, cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift your buttocks in Vajit B. Push the heels down, hands down, chest down, stay and breathe. Allow the blood flow towards the heart and the head. Keep the body relaxed. Pushing the chest more and more down as you become comfortable. Abdomen pulled in. Knee straight, elbow straight. Head between the arms. Don't separate the head from the arms. Two more breaths. Long inhalation and long exhalation. And the next inhalation, draw the left foot forward between the hands. Put the right knee down, push the right leg more back, look up and breathe. As you exhale, bring the right leg forward. Shift the body weight forward, stay in the forward bend. Again, feel the blood, rush of blood towards the face. Body weight shifted forward, chest close to the thighs. Shoulders relaxed. Now as you inhale, stretch forward and stretch up. Push the buttocks forward, a little more forward than before. Look up, knee straight, elbow straight. And exhale, release. Third round, now we go in flow. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Keep focusing on the breath. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, exhale, bounce to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Hold the breath, left leg back. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back, look up. Exhale, release. Inhale, and exhale, bounce to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back all the way. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, go brow. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right. Let's stretch up. Inhale, arch back. Exhale, release. Next round. Inhale. 
and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms apart back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Hold the breath, left leg back, plan. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up, arch back and look up. Exhale, release. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Last round, the sixth round. Inhale and exhale, palms to the chest. Inhale, arms up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the right leg back. Hold the breath, left leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the right leg forward. Exhale, the left leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. Exhale, release. Left side, inhale. And exhale, palms together to the chest. Inhale, lumps up, arch back. Exhale, stretch forward and down. Inhale, the left leg back. Hold the breath, right leg back, plank. Exhale, knees, chest and the forehead down. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, inverted V. Inhale, the left leg forward. Exhale, the right leg forward. Inhale, stretch up and arch back. And exhale, release. That's very good. Please sit down and lie down. Rest in Shavasana. Turn the head side to side, legs apart and the arms apart. Work to slow down the breathing. And from toes to the head, relax the body. Let go the tension, let go the tightness. Absorbing this heat, this energy that you've just created with Surya Namaskar into the body. So more you relax, better you absorb the energy into the body. Relax. Take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your hands and stretch your arms up, stretch the whole body, release the stretch. Fix the arms by the side of the body, palms down, feet together, toes pointing up, chin close to the chest. Work with the strength of your abdomen, inhale, raise the right leg straight up, leg raises. Push the heel out, exhale, bring the right leg down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Left leg up, inhale. Exhale down. Right leg, inhale up. Support the right thigh with both your hands. Bring the leg closer towards the body. 
As you exhale, raise the head and chest, come up. Adjust the hands more up. The knees should be straight. Elbows should be slightly bent to relax the shoulders. <clears throat> and shoulders should be away from the ears. Chin stretching up towards the toes. Do not lower the head back. Push the left thigh more down. Breathe into the abdomen. As and when you are more comfortable, try to bring the leg a little more close towards the body. Feel a soothing pressure on the lower back. Stimulating the abdominal organs and working on the lower back and working on the hamstring muscles. Breathe and relax. Relax and breathe. Now we'll move the right leg to the right side of the body. So either hold the right big toe with your right hand or just get the hand on the right side, right thigh inside of the thigh. Put the head down. As you exhale, bring the right leg down to the right side. Head can be turned to the left or can be placed in the center. Find your position. Now you need to push the left buttock down, ground the left buttock and then you do uh, whatever is possible with the right leg. Engage each part of the right leg, the toes, the heel, the calf, the knee, the thigh, the buttock, and then focus on also the left leg. Push it down, the buttock. Long inhalation, take two more breaths. Long exhalation. Now bend the right knee and hold the right sole from inside for the happy baby pose on the right side. Push the right knee down. And the balasan on the right side. The left buttock down. The back completely on the mat. Chin to the chest. The shins are perpendicular to the mat. So the sole should be facing towards the ceiling. Right sole. Hold the right sole with your right hand from inside. Watch the screen if there is if you are unable to follow. Release the posture. Straighten the leg up. And now hold the right big toe with your left hand. Right arm stretching in line with the shoulders. Shoulder. As you exhale, lower the right leg to the left side of your body. Keep the knee straight. Instead of the toe, you can also place the hand on the outside of the right thigh and pull the leg more up. Head is turned to the right, right shoulder completely down. Breathe. Now, all together, bending the right knee, place the left hand outside of the right thigh. Move into the reclining spinal twist. Don't disturb the any other part of the body. Just bend the right knee and be there. Breathe. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hug the knee close to the chest. Release the hands down. As you inhale, raise the right leg straight up. And with control, exhale, bring it down. We'll complete the cycle on the left side. Raise the left leg up, inhale. Support the left thigh with both your hands and bring the leg closer. As you exhale, raise your head and chest, come up, walk the hands up. Adjust the body, you know what to do. Just relax, close your eyes and take a few deep and slow breaths. Now make your necessary adjustment to move the left leg to the left side and then put the head down. Stretch your right arm in line with the shoulder. As you exhale, lower the left leg to the left. Keep pushing the right buttock down and engage each part of the left leg. Breathe, relax, hold. Now bend the left knee for the ha happy baby pose on the left side. Hold the left sole with your left hand. 
right hand can be placed on the right thigh or you can place it on the floor. Keep pushing the knee more and more down by the side of the chest, reaching down to the floor. And remember the back has to be on the mat. My straighten the leg a little more. I mean, get the sole turned up towards the ceiling. And now release the posture, straighten the right le left leg. We'll move the left leg to the right side. So adjust and move into the posture. Keep the left knee straight wherever you hold the leg and the left shoulder completely resting on the mat. Breathe. Now bend the left knee and place the right hand outside the left thigh. Reclining spinal twist. As you inhale, come back up to the center. Exhale, hug the knee close to the chest. Release the hands down. As you inhale, raise the left leg up. And with control, exhale, bring it down. Adjusting the hands for the double leg raises, either under the body if the back is troublesome, or by the side of the body, or to place the hands under the head. Legs together, inhale, raise both your legs. Once again, work with your abdomen. Knees straight, heels pushed out, chin close to the chest. Exhale, bring the legs down. Second time, inhale up. Exhale down. Six times we do. Third time up, inhale. Knees straight, everybody. Exhale down. Toes pulled in. Inhale, fourth time come up. Exhale down. Five up, inhale. Exhale down. One more time, inhale, come up. This time, support the thighs with both your hands. Separate your legs apart. Hold the thighs from inside. And those who can, without bending the knees, please hold the toes with your respective hands. That's not, uh, not uh, so important. You can keep holding the thighs, but do not bend the knees. Keep the lower back down and breathe. Now bend the knees and hold the soles from inside. Happy baby pose, Ananda Balasan. The soles should be facing up, knees should be pushing down, lower back completely resting on the mat, chin close to the chest, close your eyes and breathe. Rock the body very gently side to side, just like a baby frolicking in bed. No rigorous movement, just enjoy. As the name is Ananda Balas and happy baby pose. Do it two to three times and then bring the knees to the chest. Release the hands down. Stretch the legs up. Inhale. And with control, exhale. Bring the legs all the way down. Give a good stretch to the body. Release the stretch. Bend the knees, turn over, relax into the child's pose. Shashankasana, preparing for the head start. Please slowly sit up on the heels. Let's get ready. We'll follow the steps. Hold the opposite elbows. Place the, for, place the arms down. And then stretch your arms forward. Interlock your hands loosely. Lift the buttocks up. Top of the head down. Back of the head against the hands. Tuck the toes in. Straighten the knees up. And walk forward. 
walk, keep walking until you feel the back is straight and then bring the knees to the chest. With control, move the knees up and straighten the legs up. We are changing the center of gravity of the body while coming up. So come up slowly. Don't be in a rush. If you come up hurriedly, you'll double down. Once you are up, keep the legs relaxed. Abdomen pulled in. Still the body. In the inversions, automatically deep breathing takes place. You don't have to worry about the breath at all. Those who do with the wall, please make sure to release the feet one by one and hold without the wall support for a few breaths. Releasing the posture, bend the knees, bring the knees to the chest and bring the feet down. Relax into the child's pose. Slowly sit up and lie down in Shavasan. Turn the head side to side and relax. slowly bring your legs together arms over the head inhale a deep breath and give a good stretch to the body release the stretch let's get ready for the shoulder stand cycle sarvangasana feet together chin close to the chest shoulders down arms close to the body inhale raise both your legs up trunk up support your back into the shoulder stand now adjust your body if you have to bend the knees to the forehead and you can draw the elbows closer, lock the hands on the mat and pull the arms to closer. Then support the back and raise the legs up. Body weight shifted to the shoulders entirely if the neck is fine. If you have a troublesome neck, keep the body weight partially on the elbows. Push the buttocks towards the head. Align the heels, the buttocks and the shoulders. Close your eyes. And feel a strong lock in the throat region. It activates the thyroid and the parathyroid glands. Keep the legs relaxed. Relax the face. Blood is flowing towards your face. So keep the muscles relaxed, facial muscles. Those who do this posture regularly have a youthful face. So understand how to maintain that youth. When you hold the posture, you need to relax the muscles. Allow good blood flow towards the face. Now lengthen up the body as you inhale. As you exhale, lower the right leg over the head. 
As you move the right leg down, take the left leg more away from the right. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale the left leg down. Move the right leg more away. Inhale the right leg up. Sorry, left leg up. As you exhale, bend both the knees to the forehead first. Knees to the forehead. Lift the tailbone more up. Shift the body weight more towards the shoulders and move the knees more away from the head towards the floor. And then you straighten the legs in halasana, the plow pose. Now adjust the hands position, either keep supporting the back or you can stretch the arms down on the mat or you can interlock the hands and pull the arms away from the body. That will relax the neck muscles more. Knees pushed away from the forehead. Hold it, breathe into the abdomen. Exhalation, contract the abdomen. Inhalation, the spine lengthens, tailbone lifts up higher. Now your choice, either release the posture using your arms as brakes or support the back and come up into the shoulder stand. If you are in the shoulder stand, on the exhalation, bend the knees, arch your back and bring the feet forward and down, one by one or together. Excellent. Now everybody up into the Setu Bandhasana. You can hold the ankles. Keep the buttocks lifted up, chest close to the chin. Feel a nice arch in the back, in the spine. And do not let the knees be wider than the feet width. And also the feet should be pointing forward. Excellent posture. Come up higher. Very good, Mahesh. Exhale, slowly come down. Hands under the shoulders for Archer Prasen. Fingers turned in. As you inhale, raise the buttocks. Press the hands and come up. Hold it. Keep breathing. Ten. Nine, eight, those who are unable to do, try to place, place the top of the head to the mat and then press the hands and come up. Three, two, one, slowly come down. Hug the knees to the chest. Rotate the knees, place the hands on the knees and rotate the knees clockwise three times and anti-clockwise. Once you're done, release the legs down and get ready for the fish pose, Matsyasana. Arms under the body, shoulder blades together, elbows hidden and hands stretching under the thighs. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up, look to the toes. As you exhale, lift your chest, arch your back and lower the head on the mat, crown touching down. Keep pressing down on the elbows, Slow down the breathing. Long inhalation, pause for a while. Long exhalation, pause for a while. Slow down the breath. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up, look to the toes and exhale, bring the body down. Release the arms, rotate the wrist and turn the hips side to side. Relax in Shavasana. Feel the lightness in the mind, lightness in the body. Absorb this light feeling. Now take a deep inhalation, bring your legs together, interlock your hands and stretch your arms up, stretch the whole body. Release the stretch, please sit up. Separate the legs apart. Keep sitting just the way you're sitting and separate the legs apart. Now, so legs more apart. Inhale, raise the arms up. As you exhale, turn the body to the right and come forward and down the right leg. 
hold the toes, relax the left shoulder and center the chest on the right thigh. Left buttocks should be nicely into the press in, into the mat. Take two deep breaths. Long inhale, long exhale, and one more time. Now twist your body and open up the chest up towards the ceiling. Hook the right big toe between the index and the middle finger of the right hand. Try to get the right shoulder down to the floor if your elbow is easily reaching down on the floor. And then the left arm from over the left ear reaching to the right toes. Just do whatever is possible. Feel a good stretch in the left side of your body. Keep breathing. Slowly center the body. Come up, inhale. Come up, inhale. And exhale, go down to the left side. Forward bend in the left leg. Relax the right shoulder this time. Keep the right body down. And center the chest on the left thigh. Long inhalation, two breaths. Long exhalation. And now twist your body, open the chest up and feel a good stretch in the right side. So aim to first bring the left, bring the left elbow down. And then aim to bring the left shoulder down to the floor, inside of the thigh. Stretching from the waist, from the armpit, the entire left side, sorry, right side feels a good stretch. Now center the body and inhale, come up. As you exhale, lengthen up first, and then as you exhale, stretch forward and come down in the Vobhishth Konasana. Place the hands down. Walk the hands forward, bring the elbows down. If your forehead is easily reaching down, try to bring the chin down so that the chest can dig into the mat. Press into the mat. Excellent. Keep the toes pulled in. It relax the inner thighs so that the body can come down. Those who have difficulty in coming down, I suggest bend the knees slightly, walk your hands forward and straighten the legs. Then once again, bend the knees, straighten, do it this way. Now we are ready to come up. Those who like to try again can do that. Release the posture. Keep the legs together. Now Pashimuttanasana will hold for 10 breaths. Lengthen up the body. Stretch your arms. Inhale up. Pull the toes in. As you exhale from the base of the spine, stretch forward and come down. Hold the toes or wherever you can. Hold the outer edges of the feet. Push the knees down. Push the heels up and pull the toes nicely in. Keep the legs strong and the back flexible. Be flexible in the mind to do better in each class that you attend. Long inhalation, abdomen expands. The spine lengthens. Deep exhalation, body relaxes. Body folds more down on the legs. Assuming we are done with 10 breaths, lift your arms up, inhale, come up. Exhale, bring the hands behind the body. Let's give a counter stretch with inclined plane, lower the head back, point the toes down and lift your buttocks all the way, come up. As you inhale and breathe here, holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and release down. Relax on the abdomen. 
Turn the head to the right, make a pillow with your hands, big toes together and heels apart, relax. Always focus on the breath while you relax the body. This has an added advantage that your mind doesn't wander. Preparing for Bhujangasana, put the forehead down, feet together, toes pointing back, elbows close to the chest and hands under the shoulders. As you inhale, raise the head and chest, come up. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Reduce the pressure on the hands. Use the back muscles. Press the lower abdomen till the navel point down on the mat. And lift the chest up more. Breathe. Slowly, as you exhale, please come down. Turn the head to the left and relax. Dhanud Asan, the bow pose. Put the forehead down, bend the knees and hold your ankles. As you inhale, raise the knees and the thighs, head and the chest, come up. Close your eyes and try to lift up higher, chest more up. Ideally, the body should rest on the area around the navel point. Pelvic bones and the rib cages of the mat should be. Hold it, still the body. Now move the body forward and backward. Don't drop the head. Just move it on the abdomen, intensifying the pressure on the abdomen, abdominal organs. And then very gently side to side. Ashudhanurasana. Do it two times and then come back and release the posture. Once you finish, place the hands under the shoulders and come up on the knees and the hands for Marjriyasana. Knees and buttocks in one straight line, wrist and shoulders aligned. Inhale, push the hip back, arch the back and stretch your chin up. Exhale, round the back, tuck the chin in and the abdomen in. One more time, inhale, stretch. And exhale, round the back. Back to the center, widen the knees apart. Sit between the heels, big toes together. Bring the chest down, arms extended forward. Put it or chin down. Breathe and relax. Please slowly sit up, join the knees together for the half spinal twist. First, keep sitting on the heels. Let's do the Mandukasana today. Sit on the heels, just as you were sitting in Vajrasana. And if you have troublesome knees, you can sit on the chair. Now, make fist around the thumbs and place the fist along the navel point. Inhale, open the chest. As you exhale, push the abdomen in and pull the abdomen up and stretch your body forward. So the chin should be stretching forward. Draw the elbows close to the chest and try to hold the breath outside the lungs. In case you have high blood pressure, you can do some shallow breathing. And also you have a choice to come up after three to four seconds. And this practice should be avoided during the monthly cycle. And also, those who have very high blood pressure or any heart problem can avoid this or do it for lesser time. Do three rounds of Mandukasana. 
feel a nice good contraction in the abdomen. It has a very strong effect on stimulating the abdominal organs, improving the digestive health, and also those who have belly fat, they are, this posture is very beneficial. Once you're done with three rounds, please sit to the right side of your body. Let's do the half spinal twist. Bring the left foot across the right thigh. Place the left hand behind. Stretch your right arm up. Inhale. As you exhale, twist your body to the left and try to push the knee with your upper right arm to hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. Breathe. Feel a good pressure contraction in the abdomen. Your both sitting bones should be down on the mat and keep pushing the left shoulder more away from the body. Get the chest parallel to the wall. Inhale, raise the right arm. Exhale, bring it down and change the side. Sit to the left side. Bring your right foot across the left thigh. Place the right hand behind. Stretch your left arm. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Push the knee with your upper left arm to hold the ankle and look to the left shoulder. Hold and breathe. Close your eyes. Inhale, raise the left arm and exhale, bring it down. Hug the knees close to the chest, sit up straight from the lower back. As you inhale, lengthen the back and stretch your chin up, lower the head back. As you exhale, lower the chin to the chest. Inhale, back to the center. Exhale, turn the head to the right. Be gentle with your neck. Do whatever is good for your neck. Inhale, center. And exhale, turn the head to the left. Inhale, center. As you exhale, lower the head down towards the right shoulder, feeling a good stretch in the left side of your neck. Inhale, center. And exhale to the other side. Inhale, center. Release the posture and move into the balancing posture. Propose. Kakasan. Come up into the squatting position. The distance between the feet and the foot and the hand is roughly the same. Make a rough square. Rest your knees on the upper arms. Look at a point ahead of the hands. Transfer the body weight forward to the hands. When you're comfortable, you can try lifting the feet up. One by one or together. Excellent. Come on, once more. Once more, you're doing very well. Body weight is not shifted enough forward. That's why you're not able to come up. Okay, release the posture and stand up. Let us use the length of the mat. Separate the legs three and a half to four feet for Trikonasan. Turn the right foot right, left foot in, hip forward. As you inhale, stretch your left arm up, lengthen up the left side. Exhaling, bend down to the right side. Look in front or look up. Maintaining a good stretch in the left side. Fingertips reaching the side wall. So feel that stretch from the outer edge of the left foot to the fingertips left hand. Keep pushing the right foot forward so that the hip doesn't twill, tilt. Keep breathing. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down and change the side. Turn the left foot out and the right foot in, hip facing forward. Inhale, stretch the right, right arm up, lengthen up. As you exhale, bend down to the left side. Adjust the body, maintaining 
the optimal stretching in the right side. Hold and breathe. Inhale, slowly come up. Exhale, bring the arm down. Now separate the legs a little wider. We'll do one last posture. So turn the right foot out. Right foot out. Left foot in. Remember, wider the legs, easier it will become. So initially, separate your legs wider as much as possible. Now interlock your hands behind. Turn the upper body also to the right. Interlock your hands behind. Start bending the right knee. As you exhale, come forward and down. So try to get the chin, nose or forehead by the side of the right foot down to the floor. Keep moving your arms up so that the head can come down more. Shishya Angushtasana. Hold it and breathe. Very good. Slowly release the hands. Place the hands down and see if you can touch the head now. You'll find better balance this way. Very good. And slowly take your time. Don't lose balance. Come up. We'll change the side. Turn the left foot out and the right foot in. Legs wider. Turn the upper body to the left. Interlock your hands behind. Lengthen up. Open the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, start bending the left knee and move the body forward and down. Keep moving the arms up. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. Understand that Newton's law and come down. Keep moving the arms up. Come on, Sudeshna, you can do better. Come down, come down. And now place the hands down and try getting the head down if the head is not yet down. Slowly, take your time, come up. Release the posture. Join the legs together. Come to the front of the mat. Time for final relaxation. Sit down and lie down. Just catch up with your breath first. Let's now do the tensing of the body parts. Raise the right leg two inches above the mat. Tense the leg, tense the leg, tense it and drop it down. Left leg two inches up, tense the leg, tense the leg and drop it down. Lift both your legs two inches up, tense the legs, tense the legs and drop. You squeeze the buttocks off the mat, tense the buttocks and drop. Contract the abdomen, press the lower back down, release. Lift the chest up off the mat, tense it, tense and drop. Move the shoulders into the ears. Shrug the shoulders up and let go. Take the arms up two inches, clench your fingers tight, tight. Open the fingers, tense your arms from shoulders to the fingertips, tense and drop. Tense the facial muscles to the nose, make a lemony face, tight, tight, let go. Open your mouth, stretch your tongue out, open the eyes wide, look to the forehead and stretch the face. Stretch, release. Close the mouth, shoulders more down, turn the head very gently to the right and to the left. Come back to the center. Final adjustment to the body. Shoulders more down, arms six to eight inches away from the body, palms turned up. Chin close to the chest, legs apart comfortably, feet relaxed to the sides. Once again, watch your body. If there is any tension, please let go. We'll still the body for the next five minutes. Mentally relax the toes, the soles, the heels and the ankles. Relax the shins and the calves. Relax the knees, the thighs, the buttocks. Just let go in the legs. Feel the relaxation 
I'll say to you, so my legs are relaxed. Relax the abdomen and the chest. Move the awareness to the back. Relaxing the lower back. The middle back. The upper back. The spinal column. Let go in the back. Allow the back to sink down with gravity. Feel that relaxation. And say to yourself, my back is relaxed. Awareness to the arms. Relax the fingers, palms, the wrists. Relax the forearms, the elbows, the upper arms. Relax the shoulders, the shoulder blades. Relax the neck and the throat. Feel a good relaxation to the arms shoulders and the neck. Relax the chin, the jaw, the ears. Relax the cheeks, the nostrils, the eyes, the forehead, the top of the head, the back of the head. Feel the lightness in the upper body and say to yourself, my arms, shoulders, neck, head and the face are completely relaxed. Full body from toes to the head is feeling light and relaxed. Dropping all the body weight to the mother earth. Feel the lightness of floating sensation. Relaxing all the internal organs. Let go in the mind. Relax the mind. No more holding, no more gripping, just let go. Relax, relax. Relax.
bring the awareness to the body. Move your toes, move your fingers, move the feet and the hands, the legs and the arms. Turn the head side to side. Get the breath deep, long inhalation, long exhalation. Bring the legs together. Interlock your hands, stretch your arms up, stretch your whole body. Release the stretch, bend the knees, turn to one side, take your time and sit up for the final prayer. Let's end the class with this prayer. Oh. 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 Om Drayambakam Yajamahi Sugandhim Pushti Vardhanam Urvar Kumeva Bandhanan Vityor Bhukshir Mamritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Bardhanam Urvar Kumeva Bandhanan Vityor Bhukshir Mamritat Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Bardhanam Urvar Kumeva Bandhanan Vityor Bhukshir Mamritat Om Sarvesham Swasthir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu, Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Bhagalam Bhavatu, Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha, Sarve Santu Niramaya, Sarve Bhadrani Pashyantu Makashetu Kupagave, Asituma Sadgamaya, Tamasoma Jyoti Gamaya, Breathe your ma, breathe and Gamaya. Oh, poor Namada, poor Namidam, poor Nat, poor Namudachate, poor Nasya, poor Namadaya, poor Nameva, Vashishate. Oh, Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Thanks to our masters. Hari Om Thank you, everyone.